one of the things that we used to do in Russia, the audience became the judging panel, and this was after official competition was over. Uh, the Canadian team, both the men and women, would do ten seven-man dives off of the platform so that everybody would be in the air at the same time, but all taking off at a different time. I, I would love to believe that we were um, influential into uh, some of that sport of tandem diving as a beginning to that. Even if it isn't, it was a lot of fun and the audience loved it, we always loved it. Oh, it was an absolutely awesome experience. Uh, Colombia was a beautiful country and, uh, and we couldn't figure out what was going on but I couldn't sit up without blacking out. It was a couple of days before the event, so it was very stressful in that respect. But um, I guess if you think of it from an alternative, it could be that it took off a lot of the pressure. So um, when it came time for the event, uh, I was able to perform to uh, uh, my optimum level and was very excited to actually have won the, the gold medal for Canada. I was absolutely thrilled and totally honored to be carrying the flag for Canada. There is no experience greater than walking into a, a, an arena with your flag to 105,000 cheering people. It's so exhilarating, it's almost beyond the ability to tell you what that feels like. It, it truly was an honor and uh, a very special memory for me. The Canadian team, uh, both our men's team and women's team, went to Karlsruhe, Germany for a competition. and. Um, I happened to uh, win that springboard event, and because of that, when Ron Friesen, my teammate, became ill, they asked if I would be his representative in the event. Highly unusual, diving in the men's event, but I thought, well, that's okay. We're here for Canada, so we'll just go ahead and do it. And uh, interesting part about that is, uh, when in college, when I went to university, I got recruited by um, Cal State Northridge and they actually requested me to dive on their men's team. So uh, the experience was not uh, unique but it certainly was much more expanded uh, representing the team on that basis. Um, the exciting part of that is my diving points um, actually put us over the top to win Division Two NCAAs and so um, I actually became the first female NCAA title holder in history. Uh, not only in my sport, but they tell me in any of the sports that exist in national college championships. Being inducted into the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame is truly um, an honor. It's a recognition of the hard work and the time and commitment you made to the sport. And it's a recognition by uh, not just your peers, but by society.